Let's start chapter 6. The Nightingale Once long ago in China lived an emperor. His palace had the most beautiful garden in the world. This garden ended near a dense forest. In one of the trees of the forest lived a nightingale. It sang so sweetly that everyone stopped still and listened to its song. Travelers came from all over the world to admire the emperor's palace and his garden. However, when they heard the nightingale's song, they said, This is the best of all. Soon the emperor heard of the nightingale. Is there such a word in my empire? I have never heard of it. I command the bird to be brought to my palace and made to sing before me. But where was the nightingale to be found? No one knew where it lived. At last, a poor little girl in the royal kitchen said, I know where the nightingale lives. It lives in the forest. It sings melodiously. When I am tired, I rest under the trees and listen to the nightingale's songs. Its singing makes me forget everything. So the little girl led the way into the forest. Half the coat went with her. After walking a long distance, the girl stopped near a tree. She pointed at a little grey bird up in the boughs. This is the nightingale, she said softly. It can't be possible, everyone said in disappointment. How dull it looks! Little Nightingle, said the girl, our emperor wishes you to sing before him. My song sounds best in the forest, replied the Nightingle. But I will come to the palace before the emperor points to me. So the Nightingle went to the palace. The emperor looked at the bird and ordered it to sing. The nightingale sang so melodiously that the emperor had tears running down his cheeks. He ordered that the nightingale remain at the palace. It was kept in a golden cage and given the most delicious food. The whole city talked about the wonderful bird. When two people met, one said, Nightin, and the other said, Keen, this become a way of greeting. One day, the emperor received a parcel marked the nightingale. When he opened it, he was astonished. In it was a golden nightingale. There was a golden key lying beside it. The emperor wound up the golden nightingale with the golden key, started singing a beautiful tune. Thirty times it sang the same tune and yet was not tired. The emperor said that the living nightingale ought to be shown his wonder. But where was the living nightingale? None had not noticed that it had flown away out of the open window back to the forest. What does it matter? We have the best bird after all, said everyone. The golden bird was made to sing again and again until everyone knew its tune by heart. 
So a whole year went by. Suddenly the emperor fell ill. In his illness, he longed to hear a melodious song. Music, he said. Precious golden birds sing. Your sing will make me feel well again. But the bird stood still. It was worn out inside and there was no music left in it. The emperor longed for music, but the bird could not sing. Then from the windows, suddenly the most lovely song was heard. It was the little live nightingale that sat outside on a tree. It had heard of the emperor's illness, had come to sing to him. It sang the most beautiful song. As it sang, the emperor felt better. Thanks, said the emperor. You must always stay with me. Not so, replied the nightingale. I cannot live in a palace. I will come and sit on the tree by the window every evening and sing for you. But you must promise me one thing. Anything, said the emperor. Let not any bird live in a cage. The emperor smiled and said, As you wish, my nightingale. The nightingale flew away happily only to return the next day. Now come to word meaning. Emperor means king. Dance means a lot of things together. Forest means land covered with trees. Admire means praise. Nightingale means a bird which sings. Command means order. Melodiously means sweetly. Bows means main branches of tree. Delicious means having good taste. Parcel means a packet of things sent by mail. Astonished means surprised. Now come to the comprehension exercises. Here you have to answer the following questions orally. Now come to B. Here you have to take the correct answer. In which country is the story said the nightingale? China. Why were the people disappointed on seeing the nightingale? It was small and dull. How was the leaf nightingale different from the golden nightingale? The live nightingale was grey. The other nightingale was golden. Now come to C. On the basis of the chapter, you have to answer the following questions. Now come to learn. Words. Here you have to match. Dance. Forest. Open. Window. Royal. Kitchen. Grey. Bird. Melodious. Song. Now come to B. We have to use these words to complete the following sentences. There are many wild animals in this dance forest. The cook baked delicious cakes in the royal kitchen. The grey bird sat on a high bow. The bird came in through the open window. The golden nightingale sang a melodious song. 
Now come to learn grammar. Here we know that than is used to show the comparison between two things and the superlative degree like tallest is used for all. Now we have to use the correct form of small to fill the following blanks. The robin is a small bird. It is smaller than a parrot or crow. It is smaller than a cuckoo. But it is not the smallest bird on the earth. The smallest bird is the hummingbird. The hummingbird can fly backwards. Now you have to read the following sentences and name each type of sentences. This one you have to do yourself. Now come to learn to talk and listen. Imagine that the birds have decided to punish us keeping them in a cage. They hold a meeting. What would they say and what would they decide to do? This one you have to do yourself. Now learn to write. Here you have to write a letter to your friends or relative. It is an informal letter. You, here some tips are given by following these tips. You can write the informal letter. Now come to activity. Here you have to name the bird, its color, its sound. And then you have to write what does it eat. One example is given. 